Scripture is actually talking about the last days quite often. And we that are living in the world right now are the people that it warned us about. Just like, you know, your mother warned you about who you became. <laughs> well, we are those people that Scripture is describing and people are walking around thinking, yeah, I'm fine. I just believe. Well, we've been discussing all those things with you. But one of the interesting things is that Scripture can open your mind to, to what Yahuwah really wants you to know uh, by just reading the words. This is uh, one called uh, the philosophies of men. And that's what's been taking hold of everyone. We're the people living now that are deluded under the impression that we don't have to obey the covenant. But there's an eternal covenant. Men's philosophies have deceived many. The falling away from the walk in the extreme last days concerns the false teachings that direct people away from the eternal covenant. What's the eternal covenant? Those Ten Commandments right there. There's a voice behind me, and it's whispering. When I turn to the right, when I turn to the left, there's a voice, and it's saying, this is the way. Walk in it. Now these uh, are confirmed the idea that we are living by false teachings is prophesied at Colossians 2, verse 8, 2 Peter 2, verse 2, the way of truth will be maligned, and also 2 Peter 3, verses 15 through 17. And they're describing about the people that live right now. The renewed covenant, what is that? Well, it's our trust in Yahushua's blood, not the old animal sacrifices or the old process. That isn't working anymore. That was removed. It's obsolete. His blood redeems us completely, doing away with the old priesthood, temple, and offerings of animal blood on the side of the ark by the former high priest. Yahushua came to destroy the works of the devil not to do away with his commandments. Compare Deuteronomy 31, verse 26, and Hebrews chapter 8, verse 13. Note that the Old Covenant was written on a scroll, and it was placed beside the ark. It is not the eternal marriage of the covenant of marriage that he wrote on the stone tablets. He wrote them in stone. Now he's written them in our hearts. That's our minds. And we receive a love for them because of his indwelling. He made us love them. And now we're sealed for the day of our redemption. What is that? That is when he returns and redeems his bride from the grave or from the bodies of death that they're living in. And you are going to experience immortality. You will be clothed with immortality. That's your redemption. Now, let's look at Isaiah, or Isaiah, or Isaiah, or what his real name is, is Yasha Yahu. Isaiah was a storm that just passed through, and it's still being felt here uh, in some parts of the country. Isaiah, Yasha Yahu, chapter 30. Woe to the stubborn children, says Yahuwah, to make counsel, but not for me, and to devise plans, but not of my Ruach, spirit, in order to add sin to sin. Go and write it before them on a tablet, and inscribe it on a scroll, that it is for a later, a later yom, a later day, a witness forever, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children who refuse to hear the Torah of Yahuwah, that means the instruction. Who says to the seers, do not see. And to the prophets, do not prophesy to us what is right. Speak to us what is smooth. Prophesy deceits. Turn aside from the way. Swerve from the path. And cause the Kodesh one of Yisrael to cease from before us. Now, did you hear that? That was just a few verses there. 
that talks about it, that I, what I was just referring to. Now we're going to pick up at verse 18 now. <clears throat> and therefore Yahuwah shall wait to show you favor. And therefore he shall be exalted to the compassion on you. For Yahuwah is an Elohim of lawfulness. Blessed are all those who wait for him. For the people shall dwell in Sion at Jerusalem, and you shall weep no more. He shall show much favor to you at the sound of your cry. When he hears, he shall answer you. Though Yahuwah gave you the bread of adversity and water of affliction, your teacher shall no longer be hidden, but your eyes shall see your teacher, and your ears hear a word behind you, saying, this is the way. Walk in it. Whenever you turn to the right or whenever you turn to the left, and you shall defile the covering of your graven images of silver and the plating of your molded gold, images of gold, and you shall throw them away as a minstrel cloth and say to them, Be gone. Yes. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye now. Thank you.